Uh, George, I'm going to come to you. I think this is a really tough game. Ipswich hosting Villa. Ipswich have been decent, to be fair to them. Uh, plus 314, Villa minus 120. Villa have not kept many clean sheets. Villa do look like... Oh, it's one of those, they give you a chance. They're, they're, if there's a deficiency at Villa, it's because they basically... They play too much on the front foot. They get overloaded and they're not great at the back. Uh, Villa to score twice is minus 118. Ipswich to score, as you can see, is minus 245. I think the over two and a half goals in the game is uh, minus 135. It must be an absolute banker, that, because I've got both teams scoring here. Ipswich, they went on the road and got a draw at Brighton. Went on the road and got their... um, Got an undeserved point, really, at Southampton, but they'll definitely take it. Apart from that, they've played Man City, uh, they've played Liverpool at home, they're, they've played really, and they've played Man City away, so they've really been up against it. Now, Villa come to town. I think this is another one of those. Both teams are scoring over, George. Yeah, I, I could give you that, and I mean, I kind of wish I picked this game. I didn't pick this game, um, but you have to look at that game, and I'd probably give you that, definitely. You look at the likes of of Duran and Watkins scoring week in, week out. Villa score goals. Um, and they're under such good management. And the sort of the praise you're seeing them from them get right now is deserved. Uh, I mean, if if I was to go for this game, I'd maybe have given you a John Duran anytime scorer because that that man is on fire. He's 20 on years fire. old or something like that. And he, he just scores and scores and scores. Mm. But then, yeah, you have to give credit to, to Ipswich as well because... They are picking up points. You look at sort of Everton and, and Wolves, two other sides that are in candidates for, for going down, and they're not picking up points. E- uh, Ipswich are picking up points, and you have to sort of give credit to that. So, I mean, I could see I could see uh, Ipswich getting a goal here. I don't yeah. think they'd get the win, and I don't think they'd get a draw. I think Villa are so, so good. That's one of the things that Villa are so good at doing. They're lethal at getting three points. They always manage to, to pull it back and and sort of pounce on that. You don't leave a Villa. You don't leave Villa down one nil because they'll come back and make it two one. And I, I can see that happening this week, uh, especially especially with Villa in at Ipswich. Yeah, I think Ipswich could go one nil up here. I think Ipswich yeah, could, yeah. and then obviously you yeah. could still come back on the other side with Villa double chance or Villa draw no bet. Uh, Mitch makes a great point. Watkins anytime scorer plus one thirty eight. We've had him last two weeks in on the uh, in Bet US Instagram. Um, will he make it three weeks in on the trot? Uh, Ipswich have been so so energetic at home, and Villa have been playing weekend midweek weekend midweek. Mm. I'm wondering if Ipswich do catch these cold, um, but both teams are scoring over is at plus money as well. So you don't even need to go with Ipswich double chance at plus one hundred because I don't see clean sheets here, Brad. Yeah, man. This has been uh this one was a funny one because I jumped on this one at minus one oh five in uh in favor of Aston Villa. All right. Like minus one oh five, beautiful price. Minus one twenty, okay price. Um yeah. Ipswich have been pretty solid this season. Um more specifically, you can give them the praise against people teams who are of their caliber, right? Like they played against Southampton, um probably sh- should have scored two, um, didn't score until I believe late in that match. Um played against Fulham. They weren't great. They only shot it a few times, but they still picked up a point against Brighton. Brighton had that weird rotation that they had to put in. I'm not high on Brighton, but they still rescued a point. Um, I think, you know, one goal is their limit, right? Like, they're going to be a team who plays against these tougher sides, and if they score one, they're happy, right? Like, they played against Manchester City. They scored the first goal. Then the floodgates open. I think we could see a very similar situation. But the way Aston Villa are playing right now, it's hard for me not to back them in this situation. Even with the 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 UCL, I wrote in my notes, before I even bet this game, before I even looked at lines, could be a trap ahead of UCL next week. But then you have to look at expected uh, – I'm not talking expected goals, guys. This is expected goal difference. Expected goal difference this season so far, minus 1.55 for Ipswich. Um, it's plus 0.68 for Aston Villa. And – the two players who are absolutely carrying this team right now, Ollie Watkins and Duran. Four goals for Duran, four goal contributions for Watkins. Um, if either of them start, either of them don't start, one of them starts, you have to be on one of them in some kind of way. For me, it'd probably be Watkins' uh, first half shots with Watkins' goal or Duran first half shots if Watkins is not playing. Or just play one of the two to score a goal um, because it's, it's going to happen, right? This is a, a really... 
fun team in terms of them shooting, them scoring. A lot of it times it's because they go down or they're just have a yeah. bunch of those scary moments early in the match. And then um, Unai Emery's like, yo, get your behind into gear and start attacking. You need to score. I, I have them winning this one pretty comfortably, though. Um, Ipswich will probably do find the, find the uh, board here. If you are interested in both teams to score and Aston Villa to win, that's probably yeah. the best way to play it. Um, yeah. But I, I, I thought the money line price was fair enough for me. Four and one on the season, like I said, only loss, only non victory was against Arsenal. Yeah, Villa, two out of the last uh, three games, they've gone one nil behind and then came back strong because they've got a decent bench who's actually affecting the game. They have picked up a few uh, injuries, but Ipswich are so so fast on the ball. There's so much energy that they uh, that just runs through the whole side at home. Um, so they're completely different away. They're trying to be a little bit more cagey and it will catch them out, by the way. Some team's going to absolutely take them to the cleaners because once they get behind, they're not built to come from behind when they're on the road. If someone gets a couple, it could get five. But at home... They will, they will swing and they will uh, hit teams on the nose. And I, I've just seen here from Ash and from Mitch that Villa to win from behind is plus 700. Can easily see Ipswich scoring wow. first. Um, and I, I do like I do like both teams to score, uh, plus more than the double chance for the home side, even though I was on Ipswich, double chance a couple of weeks ago away at Brighton. And that was a fortunate nil-nil. Been quite fortunate with a few of the wins and been unfortunate with a few of the losses. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's have a little look at the official picks here. You know what you're going to get from uh, from both of these. Both teams scoring over two and a half plus money, uh, plus one hundred five. Villa money line minus one hundred twenty. Can't go against that. Could also go with Villa to win and both teams to score. Don't see no clean sheets. Uh, let's. 